Bowie Dick test, dart test? What are these tests? Hey, sterile processing professionals, Brandon the Sterile Guy here. In today's video, I wanna talk about air removal tests, the testing process, how it works, and why we do it. So an air removal test is used to test the vacuum on removing air from the sterilizers. Some of you might be asking, why do we test air removal when a sterilizer is pumping steam in at a high pressure? Well, that's a really good question. So let's talk about the physics and the chemistry that goes into a steam sterilization cycle for a moment. So pressurized steam and air are two completely different things molecularly that do not mix. It's kind of like oil and water. So what would happen if you didn't remove the air from the sterilizer before you pumped in the steam is you would end up getting these bubbles of air, either like a giant bubble or a bunch of little bubbles of air that just kind of rest and they could rest over parts of an instrument tray or instruments and not allow steam to penetrate that. And you know what that means? It could render those instruments possibly unsterile. So now that we know that steam and air do not mix, that should give a little bit of insight into why we need the air out of the chamber to begin with. Here's the best visual I could think of to give to help it make sense. It's not just the pressure of the steam that penetrates deep inside the trays and the instruments. It's having that strong negative pressure that helps suck in the steam to those deep hinges and parts of all the instruments. I thought maybe an alien tractor beam would help with that visual. Let's talk about physical parameters for a second. So the sterilizer has gauges and sensors and all that stuff on it that test the different portions of the cycle like temperature and pressure, right? Well, we can't just rely on those and call it good. We have to actually test that those are working as well. Basically, we test our tests. SPD is pure science and validation, my friends. We have patients' lives in our hands. So the gauge and the printout receipt of that sterilizer might say that the vacuum or the temperature is working, but what if it actually isn't? So in this case, we're testing the vacuum of the sterilizer, and if that passes with the test, the air removal test, and then that test is confirming that that pressure sensor is also working. And a secondary test of the air test is actually testing the door seals. That's right, it's not just a leak test that tests the door seals, it's air removal. So it's putting either positive pressure on the door seals or negative pressure. It's the same type of test that's gonna, whether they can hold that air or whether they can withstand air trying to come in. Now to test whether air removal is actually working, we need some kind of object that has air in it but is also a challenge, so the air is difficult to remove. Hence, the Bowie Dick test and the DART, daily air removal test. The Bowie Dick test is named after its inventor, Dr. Bowie and Mr. Dick. No, I'm not making this up. Bowie Dick is a common term, but lots of companies have their own um, language that they label their air removal tests, such as Steris's Verify or 3M's Comply. Now the DART test is actually a completely different construction of the test and is actually trademarked by Steris. So DART, D-A-R-T, stands for Daily Air Removal Test. I'm gonna show you both versions so that you have an idea of how it works for each one because they're both really common to see in a sterile processing. Here is the DART test. On the far end of this cylinder portion is a very small entrance to the inside where air and steam will make their movements. Inside the cylinder portion of the product is stuffed wrap that makes it challenging for air and steam to penetrate and be removed. It kind of mimics a tray or a wrapped tray, kind of that wrap or filter. It, it kind of gives a challenge. Not only is it a barrier for protection, but it gives a challenge for steam to penetrate. And then in the flat end of this product is an indicator strip that will only turn color when physically touched by steam and it only passes if all have turned black. And of course, the furthest is gonna be the greatest challenge. And of course, around that indicator strip is very little space where air lives. So here's how it works. This blue arrow represents the air that is already in the dark test. As the vacuum portion of the sterilizer works, it sucks all the air out of the chamber to include the tiniest bit of air from within all these spaces. 
Once that is complete, it pumps in pressured steam that is assisted by the negative pressure to pull in and allow the steam to penetrate deep into all the products and instruments, like so. Now, if a pump does not remove all the air like it should, you might end up with a strip that looks like this. This is a no-go. Now, the Bowie Dick works in a similar fashion. The Bowie Dick is basically a deck of cards with a steam indicator card in the very center. All the cards have some air between them, in them, and in the wrap as well. So same process. Vacuum pump pulls all the air out and then steam penetrates deep into the pack. If not all the air is removed before steam, then your test will look something like this, which is a no-go. Lastly, I wanna show you where the air removal test goes inside the sterilizer. It should go in the bottom closest to the drain. And this is for several reasons. One, that is the coldest part of the sterilizer. And two, like we talked about earlier with steam and air, steam actually has less density and rises above air. So as steam collects in the top of the chamber, it's actually pushing air down. And we'll talk about that later and how a gravity cycle works in a different video. So if there's gonna be any air in the sterilizer, it's gonna be at the bottom. And that, my friends, is an air removal test, which you must perform at least daily. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you are studying for a certification test, check out the Etsy shop where you can get flashcards and practice exams to get those tests done and complete and have that certification. If you have a comment or suggestion for a video, leave it in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.